I feel like every video is just like a new, a new angle. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So thank you Squarespace. I'll talk more about Squarespace later on. So today is a grocery haul. We went to three different places. We went to Goodness Me, which is like a natural food store or health food store. Nations and Fortino's, not in that order, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. So I'm just gonna open up stuff. And naturally in me fashion, not only did I procrastinate this grocery shop, I also forgot to eat anything. I only had coffee today. So we got some hungry energy going on. Um, so let's open up this first bag. So here is from Nations where most of our produce is. So we have bell papers. Lettuce, why did I forget what that was called? We've got some tomatoes. Winter tomatoes are always a little rough, but you know, they're all right. I have some cinnamon basil. I wanted to try this Shanghai bean curd. I don't know what this is. It looks like very firmly pressed tofu. Um, and I kind of want to try making satay with it. Recipe coming soon. That's what this is for also. I'm so hungry, oh my God. Puffy tofu, good for stir fries, ramen, soup, snackles, green onions. Lemons. I had been bringing uh, my own produce bags for a while, but then locked down. So I was like, you know what? Maybe just to be safe, I won't do that. We bought corn tortillas because I want to make tacos. I want to make like street style tacos, a wonton wrappers. These ones are the vegan ones. Wheat flour, water, cornstarch, salt, sodium, benzoate. I have a recipe coming up soon for red curry dumplings. Stay tuned. That's one bag done. Before we get back to some good, good groceries, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're in need of a domain or a new website, check out Squarespace. I made my wedding website with Squarespace a couple years back and within two hours, I had a beautiful website to collect RSVPs, share engagement photos, and info about my tea ceremony. Squarespace has 24 seven customer service via email or live chat, built-in analytics and powerful blogging tools. Make a great website for your portfolio, business, or food blog using Squarespace's selection of beautiful templates. They're always mobile friendly and never require any patches or updates ever. So if you wanna get started on Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash vegan and use code vegan to get 10% off your first order. Next bag, this is from Fortino's, which is like a regular grocery store at their mid to high tier banner. Soy milk, unsweetened, fortified, and then also some of this barista oat milk. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I bought this so I can froth some latte situation. Gonna reorder this first in, first out. Get in there. I got some Orville Brennbacher Simply Salted. This is the vegan one. Very delicious. And a bunch of you told me that you can compost the popcorn bags, especially because they're all brown and unbleached. So yay. We got some Violife cheese, the cheddar shreds and the regular, wait no, cheddar slices and the cheddar shreds. Mozzarella style and mature cheddar. Vegan butter sticks from Basel. Oh my God, I was like trying to find the package. Uh, these are the plant-based ones. Double check that the ingredients that they're the vegan ones because they look very similar to the non-vegan ones. This is what I used for my recent sourdough discard chocolate chip cookies. These are these guys. I really like these for baking and they are more affordable than the Earth Balance ones. And then the other thing I got was this Eve's Ground Round with the rise of like Beyond and Impossible. Obviously like I prefer using those kinds of like mock meats for dishes that need like stuff to stick together like a meatloaf or for my dumplings or what have you. Actually, these would work well with dumplings. These are the ones that I like, I'm not gonna say grew up with, but like from the beginning of my vegan journey, I've been always using these. So we're probably gonna use these for tacos. I use this for pasta all the time and it's a lot more affordable than Beyond. $15 for this pack of four, whereas like one pack of Beyond is $10, so. You know, we like to save money in this household. And I also freeze these. So usually I just rip off the package. So I freeze most of these. I'm gonna cut one in half and then keep one in the fridge. I don't know where the skizzers are. Choppy choppy. Freezer. And then do you wanna use that for tacos? Tacos. This is my friend's favorite salsa. So I was like, you know what? I will get some because I do like me some corn and black bean salsa. And actually I will leave this out for me to have a little snacky snack later, but it's the black bean and white corn salsa mild. I've had to take it easy with spice lately. My body don't like spicy food. Face loves it. Tongue loves it. Body, not a, not a huge fan. I'm trying to cool it with a spice. Although speaking of which Eddie bought hot picante salsa. And then we have vegan cream cheese that he wants to blend with it, because it, apparently it's creamier. Use straight from the jar or for the ultimate dip, mix four parts salsa with one part cream cheese. Like I feel like you're gonna have to blend the cream cheese to like get it to 
you know, pizza sauce because we're lazy. But if you want a pizza sauce recipe, I have one. Actually, I'll link it down below. It's really good. We got three more bags. This one is from Goodness Me. I bought some Skinny Pop. I wanted like smart food popcorn, but it's not really quite smart foody, but it's as close as I can get. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna snack on that shortly. Bananas, I always get them from um, either Whole Foods or Goodness Me because they can be organic and fair trade. I've, I strive to get organic and fair trade bananas whenever I can. It has led us to not get bananas very often, but you know what? That's probably for the best. Sprout milk. I use this for soups a lot. I like this because it's unsweetened and it is like very neutral in flavor. Sour cream, tofuti, my fave. Beyond, um, I found this at goodness me for $10, whereas normally it's like 11 or $12 at other grocery stores. And it wasn't even on sale. So I was like, maybe I just go to goodness me from now on, but they only had one. I found this Earth Island pepper jack cheese and I thought that was interesting and sounded tasty. So I have purchased it. Because I have a sweet tooth sometimes, but only for certain old people candies. I got Chimes Ginger Chews. This is the regular one. I really like the mango ones too, also very good. And then these are the Meyer Lemon ones. As a treat for me, this is also from Fortino's. Tortilla chips, not really food, but I wanted stainless steel wipes to clean our three stainless steel appliances because they keep getting like stains on them and I'm wiping them down with water, but like they're not quite doing it, you know? And from my days at McDonald's, I know that like the stainless steel appliances need like a separate like creamy cleaner. It's weird, I don't know. I just wanted, you know, a nice clean, creamy, smooth apply. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Pineapple crush. Eddie wanted pineapple crush, so we got one. He asked me if I wanted one, I did not. It's too sweet. This is also from Fortino's. I bought whole wheat flour cause I'm running out slash I'm completely out. And I use this for my sourdough bread. Um, by the time you see this video, I think I'll have posted my recent sourdough bread go-to recipe. So I'll link it there. <laughs> I like that this is in a paper bag and it is locally, well, it's a Canadian company. I don't know where it is, but it's a local flour mill. So, you know, I like that it's a paper bag. A lot of other places that I found flour from are in like plastic bag. And I was like, I mean paper, come on. And then this is the last bag and like the biggest bag from Nations, garlic. I wanna make another roasted garlic sourdough loaf. Ooh, good time. Toasted sesame seeds, cause I'm pretty much out. And then I bought like an excessive amount of noodles because I mean, it's me, um, Dan Dan noodles. So these are like specifically Dan Dan Sichuan noodles. They look very round and cute. I, I think I'll probably use them for ramen too, but Dan Dan noodles. Udon noodles lately, like my favorite, especially because like I don't really need to cook them. Raw sesame seeds because I wanna make bagels and I also wanna put this on sourdough bread. The raw ones toast better in like when you're baking them because I've used toasted sesame seeds on the bread, but then obviously it burns cause it's like already toasted. I bought gochugaru flakes cause I wanna make quick pickle cucumber and it's better with the flakes versus the, the powder itself. Vital wheat gluten. Uh, I ran out of vital wheat gluten. Normally I buy it in bulk from zero waste bulk, but we're probably have no plans on going to Kitchener anytime soon, especially with like the whole shelter in place lockdown situation. So I decided to buy some of this, unfortunately in plastic, but you know, so it goes. And I wanna make deli slices with them and I, I wanna make like a loaf. The loaf I wanna try is the turkey one from 86 Eats. I have like a roast beef one that is really, really good. I'll link that in the corner. Like I've used that as like Thanksgiving as like a roast, but that would also be really good as deli slices, but I wanna try like a more chickeny style one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need tofu for that, which I have downstairs and a bite will be gluten. Taiwanese style, these are like knife cut style noodles. So fun to eat. Ugh, I love noodles. Vegan mayo from Hellman's. Last but not least, coconut milk. I always try to have coconut milk in my cupboard and normally I buy the Aroy D ones, but then it came out that they're using monkeys to like get the coconuts and they're poorly treated and like abused basically to get the coconut milk. And I'm like, oh my God, dang it. It's my favorite coconut milk. So attempting to get different ones. So this one is from Grace and this one is from Savoy. I haven't really researched whether or not they have the same practices. This is what I've been using in the meantime. And I believe that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have many, many grocery hauls. For some reason, when I was like looking at back at my channel, cause I feel like my channel has gone like stagnant or whatever lately. And it's my goal this year to get two uploads a, a week. Like I did when I first started this channel. And for the past like two years, I've been like going down to like one upload a week. 2021, we're manifesting more productive energy. I was like thinking about the videos that like do the best and the ones that you guys are most interested in. And they happen to be grocery hauls and what I eat in a day vlogs. So 
you know, unfortunately with the way the world is right now, I don't do that many grocery hauls except for like the once every two or three weeks that we do. But you know what, that's fine anyway. I think today I spent, I spent $99 at Fortino's, $93 at Nations, and then $43 at Goodness Me. You know, they're big hauls. And granted we are buying certain things that are like staples. Whole wheat flour, this was $25 for this whole bag. $13 for this, $7 for this. Like I'm not gonna buy these again. But yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you want more chaotic videos where I make poor life decisions and I don't eat before I go grocery shopping. Not that bad in terms of like buying over buying because I'm hungry. I did buy this because I was hungry though. And I'm gonna eat some salsa and chips. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. I also bought some popcorn. These are my favorite. Ooh, should we have popcorn like right meow? No. No, okay. This heckin' bag. I made it worse. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, 